Hey everyone, this is Wei and thanks for joining me here once again. Now for this video, I'm going to be doing a quick small portrait sketch with a 4B pencil. And it's actually a lot of fun to do and it's very loose. It's, uh, it has a lot of expression into it. So let me show you some of the, the techniques on how you can do these little uh, quick portrait sketches. I'm using a 4B pencil. I'm sketching in the eyebrow. You got to start somewhere. So I'm just going to start with that. I'll go down to the eye. Let's try to follow that shape. Right. I'm gonna shade in the eye and just keep it loose. Um, you know, this kind of sketching is supposed to be fast and, and loose. Eyebrow, I see lots of eyeliner, lots of makeup. Okay, so now we have one eye, so we're going to move on to the next one. And the spacing between the eyes is usually the width of one eye, so we're just going to measure that. Just going to rough it in. Yeah, it looks like I made the eyes a little bit bigger, so... Okay, so let's do the nose. Yeah, my original circle is way too small, but let's just go with it. So if we go straight down, you can see the nose right about here. And then for this angle here, um, the corner of the eye to the bottom of the nose, so that's where um, roughly where the nose is going to be. So we're right around here. So we're going to sketch in the nostrils, the side, of the side of the nose. Let's go down to the lip. So the width of the lip, you know, right around there from the eye. And then the other side, right around there, the same size. So now we've got the corner of the mouth. We're just going to put in detail the lips. So the lip area, just gonna, I'm just going to shade it in right now. And the inside of the mouth right there is usually a little bit darker, so I'm going to hit that pretty hard. And we can see a little bit of teeth, but we're going to uh, let's just forget that for now. Let's go back to the eyes, make it a little bit darker. So pretty much just like that, you kind of have, you know, the features kind of laid in. So let's continue down. We're doing the chin, so we're going to measure the chin. We measure this distance and we kind of double it It'll be right around there so that's pretty close let's just so we're gonna sketch in okay let's do a little bit of hair let's draw the shape of a face right around here the hair right across her face straight down Let's see, so something right here, straight down with the hair. So right around the chin area curves out. And the hair, a little bit shadow right around there. So once you have this, uh, let's see, looks like the eye, I might might be a little too high, but let's go with it so, since we can't change it now. So I'm going to draw the eyes a little bit darker on the bottom, you know, just try to fake it a little bit and try to correct it at the same time. So I'm going to put in some detail. And again, I'm using, I'm using a 4B, so it allows me to shade in a lot faster. Um, and it's a really good sketching tool especially for uh, quick sketches because you can cover up a lot of areas quickly. And if you draw small enough, uh, which is what I'm doing here, you can see how quickly I can fill in the areas. So the bottom of the lip here is always dark uh, because you know the lip, bottom of the lip protrudes out a little bit. Let's do this, the cheeks. Eye, 
her eyeballs are way too low. I'm gonna try to adjust it. Um, draw it up a little bit higher. Now, for this kind of sketching, um, you know, if you know it's gonna be dark, you just go ahead and push onto it. Just make it a little bit harder. You know, like, um, when your strokes are fast and and, and sure, you know, it really shows up in your drawing. It, it gives you a lot of life. Um, and if you do make a mistake with those strokes, so strokes, it's actually okay because um, you know you you can hide it you know, unless it's a really bad mistake. So, and actually, a lot of drawing is um, you know a lot of mistakes are made. It's just that you don't see it on on the uh, on the final product because they try to they kind of hide it very well. Um, so even if they make a mistake, they make it look like it's uh, intentional. So. And a good artist will be able to do that because nobody can draw, you know, perfectly, especially with portraits. Let's do the hair. I'm sketching some of the hair. So once we have the hair, you can just kind of shade it in like this, and this is almost like a uh, like a base coat, you know, for the for the hair. And now once you have that, now we can go in and put in these little strokes and strands here and there, you know, just to um, define the flow of the hair. Right? So it's very loose. And you don't want to draw individual hairs because it's just a little bit, um, it's a little bit too tedious. Yeah. For this kind of expressive drawing, just keep it loose. Okay. Now for hair, um, this, just notice there's gonna be highlights and darker areas. So like this darker area, I'll shade in the darker. So it makes it look like there's some highlight on the hair. So if I make this dark right here, it gives a nice little highlight. So that's what gives you know the, the hair a lot of volume. And uh, you know, I'm just kind of following the reference, but even without the reference, um, that kind of rule applies to hair. All right, so shading at the neck, some more shading. Okay, so that's about it. Now you know you can you can see how um, you're starting to look like her, and it's just it's it's very quick, it's very fast. You know the strokes are very simple, um, and this could be done. You know this is a quick sketch. So well, it kind of looks like her, and you know, if it doesn't, then it would just be another pretty face. All right, so here's the final drawing, and I pushed it a little bit more. Pretty much the same thing. I'm just, you know, making some areas darker with the four B. So it's really fun to do, and this is probably only about like you know three inches tall, and it's a fairly small drawing. And you know, with a so small drawing, you're just able to cover a lot more areas with your four B. So. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.